All right, let's jump into this first story from Rolling Stone. FBI raids star ABC News producer's home. Emmy-winning producer James Gordon Meek had his home raided by the FBI. His colleagues say they haven't seen him since. And this was apparently back in April. Look at this. At a minute before 5 a.m. on April 27th, ABC News' James Gordon Meek fired off a tweet with a single word, facts. The network's national security investigative producer was responding to a former CIA agent, Mark, how do you say this, Polymeropoulos, take that the Ukrainian military, with assistance from the U.S., was thriving against Russian forces. Polymeropoulos' tweet, filled with uh, acronyms and indecipherable, uh, indecipherable to the layperson, like ITPs, UW, and EW, was itself a missive from the Washington Post Pentagon reporter, Dan Lamont, blah, 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 blah. Okay, really what the story comes down to is, uh, I think we have this tweet here. Let's just go through the, the, the quick bullet points on this one. Outside ABC News' James Gordon Meek's apartment, a surreal scene was unfolding, and his storied career was about to come crashing down. Multiple sources familiar with the matter say the Emmy-winning producer was the target of an FBI raid. None of his neighbors with whom Rolling Stone spoke with have seen him since. His neighbors haven't even seen him. An ABC representative tells Rolling Stone he resigned very abruptly and hasn't worked for us for months. It's unclear what story, if any, would have put Meek in the FBI's crosshairs. Well, not necessarily. It's been reported by several outlets. He was investigating Biden's withdrawal from Afghanistan and then abruptly vanished. Now, here's the best part of the story. Rolling Stone says Meek has been charged with no crime, but independent observers believe the raid is among the first and quite possibly the first to be carried out on a journalist by the Biden administration. OK, well, uh, I would just like to point out James O'Keefe does exist. He was also raided by the FBI. But uh, here's the story, man. This is a troubling trend. Now, I don't know what happened to this guy. Okay, the report was that he was, he was investigating Afghanistan. Very, very bad day for Biden. And I'll, and I'll remind you, when you look at the aggregate polling, that's when Joe Biden went underwater. His approval rating was, 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 was higher than his disapproval. Afghanistan happened. He flipped. The Democrats right now, they're desperately trying to reverse that narrative and, and win back support. But the economy is just, it's beating them down. Then you get a guy who's working on this big story. Gone. Well, Rolling Stones is also reporting right now that he might have had classified information, and that's why the FBI raided him. But we have to understand that, that what, what's happening here is not out of the playbook out of the Democratic Party. When Joe Biden was vice president, the Obama administration terrified newsrooms just like they did weddings and hospitals all throughout the Middle East with their drone strikes. And Obama used the Espionage Act more than any other president before him to specifically put a record number of journalists and their sources in jail. So we have to understand here, this is the continuation of the Obama DOJ FBI that prosecutes people that want to, to do real journalism. They went after James O'Keefe. They probably went after this guy. We don't know all the details here, but he quit his job. He, he didn't publish his book and he disappeared. People can't find him. Of course, people are automatically, some people are going to go off and say, Oh, maybe they Michael Hastings to him, uh, which is another journalist that also died under the Obama administration, also had allegedly classified, during, classified information. During the Obama administration. During the administration, yeah. While yeah. investigating. Who was he investigating? He was investigating a, a top general that yeah. was, uh, you know, that, that, that he was going to expose. And he came out and said, hey, you know, he tried to use his neighbor's car. He said they had people following him. So, so again, he what, said, what the Democrats are possible, what, what they could possibly do is unspeakable with what they already did with the Obama administration. 